Microsoft Forms is a free survey tool available via the My Compton portal. It's another option for surveys and quizzes. It includes the ability to branch a quiz or survey question. It allows you to restrict access to a quiz or survey, and it can be used with pictures and videos. To access Microsoft Forms, go to the Compton College website and log in by selecting the My Compton icon. Once logged in, select the nine dots in front of SharePoint in the top left-hand corner. A menu should open and Forms will be an option. If you don't see it, select the All Apps link and search for Forms. Once you open Forms, you will be taken to the Forms creation window. You'll have two options available. You can create a form for survey participants, or you can create a quiz as a type of assessment. Both have access to the same types of questions and options, however quizzes allows you to assign points to questions and has an answer shuffling option available. For the remainder of this video, we'll show you the creation of a quiz as we move through Microsoft Form features. It should be noted that the setup is the same for surveys as well. Select New Quiz and you'll be taken to the New Quiz screen. Selecting the Untitled Quiz text gives you the ability to rename the form. Select Add New to start adding questions. There are six question types available in both quizzes and surveys. For all question types used to create a quiz, make sure you designate the correct answer choice by selecting the check mark next to the correct answer. All questions have an option to make answering required to complete the quiz or survey. Choice questions can either be multiple choice with a single answer or multiple answers. You can assign the number of points the question is worth, turn on the multiple answer option if needed, and designate if the question is required for submission. The three dots in the bottom right-hand corner opens additional options for each question type. For multiple choice questions, you can have the answers shuffled in a random order for participants. It should be noted that this option is only available for quizzes. Or you can make the answers appear as a drop-down list. There is a math editor available for developing equations, and the subtitle option allows you to add additional information under a question. Once you have more than one question built for a quiz or survey, you can add branching, which will be discussed later. Text questions are the next type of question you can use in forms. This is the option to select for free response questions. The default setting for text questions is to have a short answer, a few words generally. With short answers, you can add key words the system can use for grading. Check the box at the bottom of the question window if you need to receive longer responses such as essays. The additional options for text questions include adding a subtitle to the question or prompt, adding numerical restrictions, using the math editor to create equations, and you can add this question to a branching scheme. Rating questions are ones that ask participants to rate something. You can select the number of levels and whether you want the rating to be displayed as stars or numbers. Additional options include adding a subtitle to the question or prompt. You have an additional option to label the levels you want participants to select from. So for example, not satisfied to satisfied. Lastly, you can branch this question off to another one. It should be noted that you cannot branch this question based on a participant's rating selection. The date option allows participants to enter a date. The additional options available allow for addition of a subtitle to the question or prompt and to branch this question to another one. It should be noted for this question as well that you cannot branch this question based on the date entered by a participant. There are question types that are not immediately available. Selecting the down arrow at the end of the question options offers ranking questions, Likert scoring, file uploads, net promoter scores, and sections. Ranking questions allows participants to order responses. As a quiz, you will need to enter the rankings in the correct order when entering the answers. The system will randomize the options when the quiz is being taken. 
As a survey, the question will allow participants to rank the items freely. The additional options allow you to add a subtitle or use branching features. Likert questions allow participants to provide feedback on various items using a scale of your choosing. Students can rate each question or statement using the established scale. You will need to add statements or questions and the options they can select from. Additional options include adding a subtitle and branching off to another question. The file upload option allows participants to upload a file to the quiz or survey. In order to do so, the participant will need to log into their Compton College account. When this option is used, the creator of the survey or quiz will have the files saved directly to their OneDrive account. The Net Promoter Score option is used for monitoring satisfaction for a product, service, or organization. You could repurpose this for other uses, however, it presents data as a calculated score based on positive, neutral, and negative feedback. You can change the scale labeling, however, it stays on a 1 to 10 scale. Additional options include subtitles and branching off to another question. Lastly, you can separate your questions using the section option. This adds a text field where you can add more information or give titles to question sections. Once you have entered all your questions, you can preview the survey by selecting the preview button. You will be able to fill in the survey and save your responses. As you receive responses, you can see them by selecting the Responses tab. You have the option to download the responses to an Excel spreadsheet. To share the quiz or survey, select the Share button. You have the ability to set the level of access between anyone with link can respond or restrict it to only people in my organization can respond. The later option requires a participant to log into their Compton College account before completing the quiz or survey. You have the option of sharing a survey link, generating a QR code, generating an embed code, and yes, this embed code can be used with Canvas, or sending an email. Branching surveys are ones that allow participant responses to determine what questions come next. With this, you can create many different pathways for a participant to take during a quiz or survey. For example, from an education standpoint, you can create a learning experience where every wrong answer has a video explanation as to why the answer is wrong. With Microsoft Forms, you can add images and video to questions to enhance what participants experience. Videos can only be added via URL. You can use your Microsoft Stream account or YouTube to bring videos into a quiz or survey. In this video, we did a quick review of Microsoft Forms and what it has to offer. If you would like more ideas on using Microsoft Forms with your instruction, please contact the Distance Education Department. If you need assistance troubleshooting Microsoft Forms, please contact the Help Desk.